Good morning and welcome back to our Sunday worship service. We are so glad to see you. And by we, I mean we here at Bronx Bethany Church of the Nazarene. We are a spiritual community of love where there is a place for absolutely everyone, including you. Anytime you want to stop by, all right? Okay, now here at Bronx Bethany, we don't do anything without first praying. So let's all bow our heads and close our eyes. Right. And let's talk to God. Okay. Hmm. Dear Heavenly Father, good morning. And thank you so much for waking us up. Whether today is actually Sunday or maybe today is Thursday in the afternoon and we're just tuning in via YouTube, that's fine because you are with us. And God, we thank you because you are omnipresent. And so we say amen to that. God, I just pray that you will speak to us during this um, this session that we're having together. And Lord, I just pray that you will um, help us to have a good time worshiping you and learning about the things that you want us to know. Uh, yeah, we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. All right. Are you ready for worship? Here we go. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hands. Sing it, kids. Special. Aw, uh, there's nothing special about me. Who said that? Me, boring little me. Do you know Jesus? Yeah. Well, do you have Jesus living in your heart? Mm-hmm. Well, then you're special. You're God's special child. I am? You are. I am? You are. I am. I'm God's special child. I'm special. And don't you forget it. Now, how about singing this song? Yeah, let's sing. Can I start? Sure, be my guest.
welcome back from workshop. Did you have a good time? But of course, can anybody say amen? Amen. amen. All right, for those of you who do not know if it is your first time here, my name is Auntie Rose. Hey, it's so very nice to meet you. Now, before we do anything, I just have to remind you, because sometimes I feel like you guys forget, and it's just like, I, I say it all the time. I can see you, and I can hear How? Mm-hmm, yes I can. How? Mm -hmm. yes, yes I can, yes. <gasps> yeah. So, today that's gonna be very, 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 very important. Okay, I really need to hear you all today, but I'll let you know when we get started in the part that's really crucial that you speak back to me, okay? Okay, before we get into that, um, let's remember what we've been doing during the season of Lent. We've been talking about some of the things that are really important that um, Lent points to. So two weeks ago, we talked about um, reflection, right? Um, we learned that it is thinking deeply or carefully and then throwing back without absorbing it, meaning like when we read the word, something comes back to us. Um, preparation last week we talked about um, how reading the word is how we prepare just like you know a basketball player may prepare for um, just being the best or anybody prepares for something that they really 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 want to do so we prepare by reading the word now this one is very important for the next one can you all read this word here with me everybody say one two three Temptation, mm-hmm, yep. So today we're talking about temptation. Now what is temptation? I have the definition already on the board for you. It is the desire to do something wrong or unwise. Now, the scripture that we've been reading over and over and over and over again is all about how Jesus was tempted in the desert. So even though we've already read it over and over and over and over, we're gonna read it again. So let's get to our Bibles. I'll give you a moment to get to your Bibles, but at this point you should already know where we're at. Matthew 4, okay? And we're starting at verse one. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you a moment. I'm gonna give you a freeze frame. Go get your Bible, turn to Matthew 4. First one, ready and freeze frame. You got your Bible? Okay. All right, so we're gonna read it together. And at this point, we probably have it memorized because we've read it so much. So here we go, starting at verse one. Then the spirit led Jesus into the desert to be, what's that word? tempted by the devil temptation the desire to do something wrong or unwise okay jesus ate nothing for 40 days and nights after this he was very hungry the devil came to jesus to tempt him the devil said if you are the son of god tell these rocks to become bread then jesus answered say this part with me it is written in the scriptures a person does not live only by eating bread but a person lives by everything the lord says mm -hmm. so that was the first temptation right and he replied by saying it is written and he told him what the bible says and so therefore i'm not gonna do it okay right so then it says um then the devil led Jesus to the holy, holy city of Jerusalem. He put Jesus on a very high place of the temple. The devil said, here he goes tempting him again. If you are the son of God, jump off. It is written in the scriptures. He has put his angels in charge of you. They will catch you with their hands and you will not hit your foot on a rock. Now, what do you think Jesus said back? Mm -hmm. Jesus answered, it also says in scripture, AKA, it is written, do not test the Lord your God. Come on, Jesus, with the scriptures, okay? So that temptation blocked. On to the next one. 
Then the devil led Jesus to the top of a very high mountain. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and all the great things that are in those kingdoms. The devil said, if you will bow down and worship me, I will give you all these things. That's very tempting. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said to the devil, go away from me, Satan. It is written in the scriptures, you must worship the Lord your God, serve only him. Come on, Jesus, with the scriptures, okay? So the devil left Jesus, and then some angels came to Jesus and helped him. So what is the number one thing that Jesus always said when he faced temptation? Now, we heard it a few times. I even wrote it on the board for you, so you can't get this question wrong. He says, it is written, right? Now, what is written? The word of God is written in the scripture. That is why preparation that we learned last week is so important because we have to read the word so that we can defend ourselves against temptation. Because yes. if we know the word That's and awesome. we get tempted to do something that is wrong or unwise, we can always say it is written in the scriptures and the scriptures will remind us of the right thing to do. But we gotta prepare. So, here comes the part that we've been waiting for, okay? We are going to play a game! And the name of this game is, it is written. So, we're going to take a little journey on over to our game board, and we're going to get to playing, okay? All right, welcome to our game board. Today we are playing Saying With Me, It Is Written. Okay, so this is how the game is gonna go, all right? On the board, I have seven scriptures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Now I also have seven temptations that go with all of these scriptures. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna read all of the scriptures together, and then I'm going to give you the temptation, and I need you to tell me which scripture matches the temptation. Which scripture is gonna help you fight the temptation? Which scripture is gonna help you overcome that temptation, okay? Yes? Now this is the part that I told you was really important that you actually talk back to me because honey, I'm not playing by myself now, am I? You gonna let me play by myself? I didn't think so. So make sure you shout your answers out, all right? Okay, so here we go. Let's start off by reading the scriptures together, starting right here. When you talk, do not say harmful things, but say what people need, words that will help others become stronger than what Oh, then what you say will help those who listen to you, right? Okay, the next one says, so don't worry because I am with you. Don't be afraid because I am your God. I will make you strong and will help you. I will support you with my right hand. That saves you, that's Isaiah 4, 41, 10. Here we go, over here. Jesus answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and most important command, and the second command is like the first. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 to 39. Over here, we have Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor your father and your mother, then you will live a long time in the land. The Lord your God is going to give you this land. Ooh. Down here we have, the Lord hates those who tell lies but he is pleased with those who do what they promise. Proverbs 12, 22. Over here, short and sweet and to the point, baby, Exodus 20, 15, you must not steal, okay? And last but certainly not least, Romans 12, 18, do your best to live in peace with everyone. Honey, I try to live by this one myself all the time. All right, so we've read all of them. Now you can see all of them, okay? If you want a moment to pull them up so that you can see them in front of you like on your tablet or something, I'm gonna read the verses out loud for you. Ephesians 4, 29, Isaiah 4, 10, 
Matthew 22, 37 to 39, Exodus 20, 12, Exodus 20, 15, Romans 12, 18, and Proverbs 12, 22. All right? All right, let's get into it. So I have these temptations here. Now this one is the temptation to be afraid. It's fear. So let's say there is something that you really, really, really want to do, right? But you're just so afraid of it. And every time you try to do it, you get afraid, like, like riding your bike, right? Every time you get on a bike, you just can't do it. And you just, you're just so full of fear. What scripture can you use to remind yourself not to be afraid? Which one did we just read that has to do with fear? Would it be this one that says you must not steal? No, okay, okay, okay. Would it be um, this one that says uh, the Lord hates those who tell lies? No, okay, okay. Would it be this one that says, so don't worry because I am with you. Don't be afraid because I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. I will support you with my right hand that saves you. Is that the one? Yes, it is written. Don't worry and don't be afraid. So anytime you are tempted with fear, remember that it is written. So don't worry because I am with you. Don't be afraid because I am your God. And honey, it says do not fear 365 times in the Bible. So there are a whole lot of other scriptures that you can remember. It is written anytime you're tempted to be afraid, okay? On to the next one. Let's see what we got, what we got. Let's do this one. This one says hitting. Mm -hmm. So hitting or fighting. Let's say somebody gets you really, really mad, right? And you feel like giving them a, what did they used to call it back? Okay, a knuckle sandwich. You know, I'm punch it. No, I'm too old. Okay, <clears throat> great. Let's just say you want to fight, okay? <laughs> or you want to hit somebody because you're really upset. Before you do that, all right? You can think back to which scripture when you are tempted to hit someone. Hmm? Which one do you think is a reminder not to hit anyone? Would it be... Oh, oh pick me! Oh, I know! I one. know, me! Me! Steal? No, it has nothing to do with hitting. Okay, oh, pick me! Got it, got it. Oh, I know! Maybe I know, me! Me! This one. Oh, pick when me! Talk, oh, I know! I know, me! Me! Say what people need. Words that will help others become stronger. Then what you say will help those who listen to you. Okay, so this was talking about talking in your words. So maybe it's not the hitting one. Okay. Which oh, pick one? me! Oh, I know! I know, me! Me! What color did you say? Orange? Okay. Is it this orange one? No. Oh, pick me! Oh, I know! I know so me! Know. Me! Okay, let's read it together. Do your best to live in peace with everyone. Yeah! So, say with me. It is written, do your best to live in peace with everyone. So when you are tempted to hit someone or fight or, you know, get into a little tussle, remind yourself, it is written, do your best to live in peace with everyone. Okay, so we just fought two temptations. We got five more. You ready? The next one. E -e -e. Okay, so this one, I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like a lot of us struggle with this one, okay? So, actually, I'm gonna save this one. Let's go for... Okay, let's go with this one. All right, this one says bullying. Mm -hmm. Bullying. So when you really want to be mean to somebody or you see somebody who's being bullied and then you join in on doing it, like when everybody's making fun of somebody and they really don't want to be made fun of, like it's not funny to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
So which one do you think this would go with? Which one did you say? The pink one, okay. So there's two pink ones, okay. So this one says you must not steal. Oh Is no. Okay, so it must be this one. Cause there's only two pink ones on the board and you guys said pink, okay? So let's say it together, but remember to say it is written. It is written, Jesus answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first command and most important command. And the second command is like the first, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And if you loved your neighbor as you love yourself, would you be bullying them? No, you wouldn't. Good job. So when you are tempted to bully someone or to join in on someone being bullied, remember what is written in the scriptures. Okay, okay. All right, we got a couple more. Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with... Hmm. Saying bad words or mean things. Saying bad words or mean things, okay? Now, which one do you think this goes with? Which color, which color, which color? You said green, okay. Now, we got two green ones up here. All right. Saying bad words or mean things. Would it be the one that says honor your oh, father me. and your mother? Oh, I know, I know, me, me. Okay. Okay, so it's gotta be the next one. Okay, let's go with this one then. Don't say no bad words of me, thanks to me. I'm just trying to help you, okay? All right, let's read it together and let's say it is written. Ready? It is written when you talk. Do not say harmful things, but say what people need. Words that will help others become stronger. Then what you say will help those who listen to you. Good hey, job. Hey, you are just over here fighting hey, temptation, okay? That's good. So, whenever you're tempted to say bad words or mean things, remember what is written in the scripture, Ephesians 4, verse 29. All right. Now, this is the one that I had said. I feel like some of us struggle with this a little bit, okay? So, let's read this one together. What they say right here? Disobeying <gasps> parents. I know, I know, Auntie Woods, that's not cool. We don't want to talk about that one. We got to talk about it because it's a temptation. Now, which one goes with disobeying your parents? Would it be the one that says, the Lord hates those who tell lies, but he is pleased with those who do what they promise? Not quite, okay. You said go where? To the right? You said go up? Is it, go up some more? Right. This one? Okay, okay, okay. Let's read it together. Let's say, it is written. Ready? Three, two, one. It is written, honor your father and your mother. Then you will live a long life, no, a long time in the land. The Lord your God is going to give you this land. Good job. All right, we only have two more left. Okay, now I hope, I really hope this isn't one that y'all struggle with, but I'm sure some of us have. Stealing, oh, no. taking things that don't belong to you. Mm -hmm. So of the two that remain, which one? I know this one's easy, let's just say it together. It is written, you must not Deal. Good job. So when you're tempted to take something that doesn't belong to you, even if you really, 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 really want it, remember that it is written in Exodus 20, verse 15. You must not steal. Okay. All right. And last but not least, when you are tempted to lie, it is written the Lord hates those who tell lies, but he is pleased with those who do what they promise. Ladies and gentlemen, you done won the game. 
You know what winning means? Fighting temptation just like the Jesus did in the desert. Yes? Okay. So, last week we talked about preparing. This is one way to prepare. You can make a game out of learning the scripture, right? So you can play It Is Written at Home with your family. Matter of fact, play it at home with your family. Yes? Come hmm. up with some new temptations. I suppose you're right. Find some scriptures. You could always Google it. Okay, Google will tell you where all of them are. Then you can go right into the Bible and find it for yourself. And then you can play It Is Written at Home. Yes? Or you can come on a Sunday and we'll play It Is Written together. Yeah? Okay. Now, it is written in my agenda book that I got to go. So let's pray out, okay? We're going to pray out, and then I'll see you next week, all right? Here we go. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much that you came and walked this earth and showed us how to live this life. And God, even though being tempted in the desert may be difficult, being tempted in life may be difficult, you showed us a blueprint on how to fight temptation by preparing and reading our word so that when we are tempted to do the things that are wrong or unwise, we can remember what is written in the scriptures. So Jesus, thank you for being such a great example of what we should do when we get tempted. God, I just pray that your Holy Spirit will become stronger in us, Father God, so that as we go throughout the week, we can hear the Holy Spirit helping us to remember the scriptures that we learned that are written so that we can fight temptation throughout the week. God, I thank you so much that we had a good time today at church. And Lord, I, I just pray that we all have a good week. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, until I see you next week, remember, it is written. Now go on and read what's written, okay? Bye.